Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today we're going to talk about what's in my makeup bag and what are my go-to products. Check it out. because people want to know what I use on a normal day. What are my go-to products? And then I go to the gym every single day. I don't like to wear makeup. I don't wear makeup when I work out. That's just a no-no for me. I have very sensitive skin and it clogs your pores when you wear makeup and I sweat a lot. So why would I wear makeup to the gym? I don't know. Unless I was like filming something for like a photo shoot or something, I typically would not wear makeup to the gym. There are two primers that I really like. I like the Hourglass Primer and this one's a little bit more expensive. Uh, but I don't break out and it's really, really nice on my skin. I mean, it leaves it nice and flawless. I just don't use it every day because it's, it's pretty pricey. Um, I love the Hangover uh, Primer from Too Faced Cosmetics, and this one's infused with coconut water, and I know I talk a lot about the Too Faced products. No, I'm not sponsored by them. They just work really great on my skin. So. Those are the primers I typically use. Sometimes I'll go in with this Murad Invisible Perfecting Shield, this little sample that I got from my Ipsy Glam Bag. And this is a good one for like a pore filler. So it kind of works a lot like Porefessional from Benefit. I like that one a lot, but it does make me break out. I ha it has like a little bit of a scent to it. And I think there's something in there that just irritates my skin. But this one works pretty much the same as that one for me, but I don't get the irritation on the skin. So I really like this one if I want to kind of fill in the pores, but I don't typically do that for every day. That's if I'm like going with something really nice and I really want my skin to look like doll-like, that's what I'll use on top of my other primers or whether I choose to use the Hourglass or the Hangover uh, Too Faced Primer. I, As far as spray, setting sprays, I use this one for pre-makeup. It's called Caudile. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I will put everything in the description box below. I like this one. It almost smells like you're going to a spa, so it's kind of refreshing and nice. And I bought this one on Sephora. As far as setting my makeup and setting sprays, I really like the Morphe spray. It's very inexpensive. It's $15, but you can use your $350 off Ulta coupon, or you can even use you know, discount codes on Morphe or even at the, if you, your mall has a Morphe store. So it's a very good inexpensive. You get quite a bit. I like it because it's an aerosol. So just like hairspray, I would never use a pump hairspray to, you, you know, spray your hair. You use, typically use aerosols if you really want a nice, beautiful set to your hairdo. You would use an aerosol spray for hairspray. That's what I like about the setting spray with this Morphe. It has a really nice mist to it. Mmm, and it smells so good. So, and it doesn't have like that strong perfume scent, so it doesn't irritate my skin. But I also like, of course, Tried and True Urban Decay. It's called All Nighter is that one. So that's the one I used to use forever, but now I've kind of been leaning towards this Morphe one. I don't know. I really like it. As far as oils, I try not to use too many oils, but if I were to use an oil, this is the only oil I use, and that's the Farsali. I know I've done a ton of videos using these, and it really just kind of lays that makeup perfectly, especially if it's a drier matte. Uh, foundation I feel like this one just works beautifully with it but it can be pricey and I did get this one on Sephora so at Sephora but again I'll leave all the links below especially to the Amazon use my Amazon affiliate links please um, when you purchase these products now let's go in with foundations so foundations I have two that are my go-to and Armani luminous silk 5.5 has always just been so beautiful for me and I typically like to save it for special occasions because it is pricey but for every day and I notice I've been using this even more and every time I use this product this Too Faced Born This Way my boyfriend goes oh my gosh babe your skin looks beautiful so and it's when I use this product right here and I I really love it I use natural beige as my color but it, it, you know, it's infused with coconut water, as I said, with the primer. And I just, there's something about their products that lay so nicely. I typically like more the matte look, but sometimes I don't like it too matte. And I feel like this one's matte, but not too matte. It's lightweight, but it's still full coverage. So you don't need a whole lot of product and it lasts a long time. So I really have been so happy with this Born This Way foundation. As far as concealers go, 
um, sticking with the born this way and not because it's just coincidental, but I really like this super coverage multi-purpose concealer. Um, I'm now trying vanilla. <laughs> I've been kind of going through the different shades trying to find my right shade, but I really like this vanilla. So I'm going to try it out a little bit more and see if I like it. I was using golden beige and then light beige and now I'm trying the vanilla. It's a little bit lighter, has kind of more like peachy tones to it and that cancels out the dark. So always remember that when you're looking for a concealer, if you're trying to cancel out dark circles, go for more of the peachy undertones. Um, more yellow undertones and a more neutral or brown undertones are good if you're going for like a natural look and you have nothing to cover up and you just kind of want a little something there that's beautiful for an everyday makeup look if I was just using powder I'd probably go more towards those tones but if I'm doing a super glam look and I want that natural beautiful doll like skin and I want it to brighten I want my highlighter pop I'm gonna go a little bit lighter and a little bit more peachy undertone now, I always tend to use this neutralizer by Maybelline Age Rewind. I love this over-the-counter concealer. It is so good. I talk about it a lot in my other videos, but the neutralizer is my absolute favorite, and I'll actually even dab that with the Too Faced Super Coverage. So, of course, there's Tarte. I mean, Shape Tape is, it's been a miracle. It's Honestly, before this Too Faced came along, that's all I used was this Tarte Shape Tape. And now I even use it to set my eyeshadow. So I'll use it as my base. I used to use MAC Soft Ochre a lot, but I found that it dries out fast and, I mean, I still like it. I still use it sometimes and I like to cut crease with it, but I really like using laying this Tarte Shape Tape as my base and then going in and setting it. Speaking of setting, um, I'm gonna go in with this powder since I like to set my eyeshadow and we just talked about the concealer. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This palette is so amazing. I love this palette and I use the powdered one, not the cream based one, the powder one. So this shade right here is the one I use in the middle and then I like to contour with some of the other ones, but I really like it. I love this one to set my eyeshadow and I also love it to set my concealer. I cannot travel or live without this palette. It is so good and it's all in one because it has your contour too. As far as contour goes, I do kind of like my Hoola, my Hoola bronzer. So I mean, I mean contour bronzer. I like that one and I tend to kind of go back and forth with Thrive Cosmetics in Sun Chaser. This is also a beautiful contour bronzing color. That's what I use to use the contour here if I contour my nose or if I sometimes I use it for my eyeshadow too. If I just want a natural no makeup makeup look no makeup makeup look, which is what I have on today. I don't have any eyeshadow, I just have the bronzer. It took me like two minutes to do it, so it's really easy. And as far as setting powders go, I typically like to go with, where are they at? I, of course, Laura Mercier, I've always used this translucent light powder. Um, it's awesome, it's amazing, but I, I've kind of been going towards this Cover FX Perfecting Setting Powder. I really, really like it. It is nice because I feel like if you have oily skin, Laura Mercier is, don't go any other setting powder but Laura Mercier because it really like mattifies everything. But if you have dry skin, I typically have more dry skin, I feel like this Cover FX Perfecting Powder has a little bit more um, uh, luminescent to it. It's not as like mattifying, so it's good for people with dry skin. So. As for setting my concealer, those are the two products I would use to set my concealer. As far as setting my entire face, I tend to go with the Charlotte Tilbury, and I love this color. It's shade two, and this is the flawless finish. Oh, this this Charlotte Tilbury is amazing. I'll tell you the ones that I cannot live without, and those that Kat Von D shade and light palette, and that Charlotte Tilbury, and of course my Cover FX to set my, um, under my concealer. Those are the three products I just cannot live without. <laughs> Obviously your foundation and your primers, but my cannot live without, I'm being a little dramatic about that, but <laughs> my cannot live without is definitely that Char Charlotte Tilbury. Cause even if I was doing like no foundation and I was just doing maybe a primer and moisturizer, this will give you some coverage. And this will, it's very light coverage, but it will give you some coverage and just make your skin look so perfect. Especially if you were like going to like Hawaii or some tropical place and you really didn't want to wear any makeup but you just wanted some moisturizer or skin tint. 
I would bring this with you. I mean, it's a little bit pricey, but it's worth it. It lasts about three or four months. So just remember that you're not using as much of it. You're just setting it. So it lasts a long time. So I think it's like $45. Again, I'll just put all the links on the bottom. Sometimes I don't like to use foundation. Sometimes I just, at the other day I was teaching dance and I was in the car with my mom and she's one of my students and she's like, wow, what do you have on your, you look like you have nothing on, but it's just, your skin looks so good. And all I had was the Bare Essentials powder on and I use the color Silk. I just put some moisturizer, a little bit of the Hangover Primer, and I just kind of lightly kind of dabbed it, put concealer and spot conceal a little couple areas of my skin, but other than that, I just had the powder on. So if I'm really going for that natural look, I'll just maybe use a little bit of that, but I want some coverage. As far as blushes and bronzers go, bronzer is not contour, but for like a nice, beautiful bronzed look, Another product I cannot live without. I can actually leave my contour bronzers at home and I'm fine. I don't really need those as long as I have my MAC Give Me Sun. I, this is uh, my, I cannot, again, I cannot live without this product because typically this is, actually this is the one I used as eyeshadow today. And I can use it for my bronzer, my eyeshadow. I could probably even slightly contour. It has a little glistening, so you don't really want to contour with this. Scratch that. But I don't, I don't contour my nose. I mean, very, very rare do I contour my nose. So this I cannot live without. Uh, as far as highlighters go, I really love the Becca highlighters. Probably, ultimately, the best. And I just feel like... Uh, you know, as we get older and if you have more texturized skin or you have breakouts or anything, you have to be super careful with highlighters. And I feel like Becca just, the formulation, they just do it the right way. Um, I love this color. I think it's called Moonstone. I think that one's Moonstone. I don't know. I kind of go between. Yeah, I think this one's Moonstone. I'll put, again, I'll put everything on the bottom. But I just... I just love their highlighters. They're so beautiful. I like the Jouer highlighter too as well. The Citrine, that one's just absolutely stunning and beautiful. And again, it has a really nice, it lays nicely on the skin. It gives you that perfect amount of highlight. Those are my two go-to highlighters. There's other highlighters I love, but those are my two go-to highlighters. As far as blushes go, MAC has been, MAC has been my ride or die. I have been using this product forever since I was a teenager. Um, I use man, this one's called Mandarin, I think something Mandarin. I can't see cause modern Mandarin, I think <laughs> I don't have my glasses or my contacts on, but <laughs> I will again, put it in the description box, but any of their blushes, you'll find a blush that you like, but I really, I feel like they give the best pigment and the best finish, the matte blushes. I also like the NARS blush, of course, orgasm. I mean, who doesn't want an orgasm? <laughs> Sorry, mom. But uh, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful color. I mean, it's just that beautiful pink, but also has like kind of that peachy undertones too. Just kind of gives you that nice, rosy, beautiful cheek. Since you're using bronzer, you don't need a whole lot of blush. You just kind of want to put it on the apples of your cheeks. So those are my two go-to blushes. As far as mascara goes, I there are three that I really like. Um, actually, four, Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And then... I mean, this is, I've been using this since high school, and that was no, 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 over 20 years ago. L'Oreal Voluminous, love it, very black. You can't go wrong with that. You cannot go wrong with that. Um, I also like the Maybelline Lash Discovery. It kind of works a lot like the MAC one. I can't remember the name of that one, but it's like half the price. So I like it because it has that really skinny, skinny spoolie which is nice and it really gets those bottom lashes and it really separates your lashes. So I really, especially if you have lash extensions and you just want to put a little bit on, this is waterproof. I think this is a good one. Uh, and, or your falsies. And then uh, Lash Paradise, I really like by L'Oreal. So I think L'Oreal is owned by Land or L'Oreal owns Lancome, I want to say. So you're going to have similar form formulations as the Lancome mascara, which is everybody's favorite, but it's a lot pricier than L'Oreal, so you might as well use that. Uh, as far as lashes go, I'm an Ardell girl. I love my Ardell lashes. I like the Wispies. This is Wispies 113. Uh, I just get the twin pack at Ulta or at Sally's. They always have really good deals. Um, if I'm going somewhere really nice though, 
and I'm going to an event. Of course, Lily Lashes. I mean, who doesn't love Lily Lashes? This is the goddess, and of course, she just knows how. Lily just knows lashes, and she knows what her customers want and look good in. All the celebs use them. I mean, they're just amazing lashes. So, love Lily Lashes. Check out my link below. Please use that link to her website and get yourself a pair. This is Goddess. I like Miami too. It's really nice. And I think uh, they have like another version of like a more voluminous, voluminous Miami. I can't remember what that one's called, but that one's really good too. And as far as uh, the glue I use is House of Lashes, but now I somehow managed to <laughs> misplace it. Never mind. Here it is. House of Lashes is the only glue I will use. I used to love Duo, but it's just not cooperating with my eyes anymore. I don't know why, but I just cannot get Duo to work out for me that well. So I am a House of Lashes kind of girl. I love this glue. That's my favorite glue. That thing lasts forever. My lashes will last 24 hours in a day with that glue. It doesn't come off. It's a little bit harder to get off because it really sticks, but it is amazing and it just dries in that perfect amount of time and allows you to place the lashes on and it just is the best glue in my opinion. Uh, as far as eyebrows go, I love Benefit Cosmetics and I love Anastasia. I go back and forth. There really isn't one that I love more than the other. But currently I'm on the Benefit train and I use number four pencil. I like the Precisely My Brow because it has a smaller point and it's easier and gives you more of that micro bleeding effect. And then I like their spoolies the best. I actually even probably like it a little bit more than the Anastasia one. I don't know. I go back and forth. Um, the Anastasia Clear Brow Drop. <laughs> the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. That was a tongue twister. I really like uh, her Clear Brow Gel the best. Um, but I have been liking this Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow stuff. Um, it's called Legendary Brow. It is nice. It has like, there's different colors. So I think this one's called Linda. So for my blonde hair, it kind of just gives my eyebrows a little bit lighter effect and it really sets them good. And it has like this amazing, if you can see right there, I'll try to zoom in when I edit, it has this amazing spoolie at the end. It just really combs through those brows and sets them perfectly. And actually I like using this on its own sometimes if I'm just not gonna do my brows. It gives it a really pretty effect. Um, so as far as brows, I like that. And of course, I as far as brow powder though, I will only go with Anastasia. This one is soft brown and it comes in like a little duo. So I really like, sometimes I just like to do a powder. It gives it more of a natural effect and then I'll just go in with that Charlotte Tilbury legendary brow just to kind of comb over and set it. So it just depends. It depends on how much time I have. If I'm unlimited time, I'm gonna go eyebrow pencil. My go-to palette is my Jaclyn Hill, the original palette. I take that everywhere with me. It has every single color I would need. That palette is everything, her original palette. But I do really like her new little miniature palettes. I like this one. This one's called Dark Magic. I can just drop that. So I really like that one. The Dark Magic and the Armed and Gorgeous, I think it's called, is the one I've been wanting that has the green tones for fall. But they have been sold out, so I'm kind of bummed. But I also like this palette right here. I think, I don't remember, or this one, it's called Ring the Alarm, and I really like that one too. I can't wait to play more with that one. I just kind of swatched them, but I haven't really tried them yet, so I'll do a tutorial on that for you guys. All right, so we're almost done. I just have my lips left. I don't usually use a lot of lip products. I don't. Um, I like to use the lip scrubs. I'm not a, uh, this one is Trust Fun Beauty. I love this. It's a great, like, sugar lip scrub. I love the Jouer lip liners. I, Jouer has the best lip liners. It doesn't, it gives you that matte look, but it doesn't dry it out. It's called Fawn, and it's just a really nice, it's one of those twisty ones, which is um, nice where you don't have to sharpen it, but it's that perfect nude, but kind of gives you some pinkish tones, pinkish brown tones. It's very natural, but beautiful, but subtly enhances your your lip color which is beautiful and then I just go over it with my Chanel lip glosses I love Chanel lip glosses and I love the Marc Jacob lip glosses those are my two favorite go-to lip glosses is Chanel and Marc Jacobs so that's it guys that's all I have 
but I will do another video on my favorite brushes. Please go check out my new fitness, glamour, chic apparel. Guys, I am all about comfort, but I love glam. I love bling. I love gold. I love everything. I I'm that girl that you'll, I'll sport yoga pants and a tank top in pearls or like gold jewelry, but I'll be super comfortable, but yet still glamorous and chic. And that's what I wanted. I wanted this company to embody that because that's who I am. So please go check out my website. I'm so excited. These are my ribbed tank tops. They're very flattering and comfortable and so cute. And they have the gold um, G logo. That's my logo. It says Glam Fit. This is our Glam Fit tank tops. So this is in white. Really cute racer back. Super flattering on the shoulder line. Oh, and then... Of course, the tank top I have on right now. I have wine, I have navy blue, orange, the bright red. I have a light pink online available. And then I have the t-shirts, these really cute glam fit t-shirts. And I have mediums and larges in different colors like navy blue. And I have a forest, like an army green color. It's more ribbed and tight fit. But please go check out my website. I also have a couple crops available. As you can see right here, here's the white one. And then, oh, that's the t-shirt, sorry. That's another Glam Fit t-shirt. So this also comes in a black crop. So yeah, and I have an extra small and a medium in the black available. And then two white ones in a size small. I couldn't wait to tell you guys about my new project with Glam Fit Collection, and I hope you guys enjoy the apparel. I'll have trucker hats available soon. Everything is about bling. This whole collection line is about bling, and it's not just if you're an avid fitness person or a yoga person or or a workout person in general. It's, it's about if you're a mom and you just like to wear comfortable clothes, but you still want to be chic and cute out on the town. I'm wearing this with a pair of jeans and heels today, but I can also wear this with yoga pants. So I can go either way with the gold and the bling and it's kind of glittery. I can just really dress it up or dress it down and that's the whole point of this line. So I hope you guys really love it. Please again, don't forget to go to the website, check out the apparel and maybe you'll like something, maybe you'll buy it. So the inventory may be a little low right now because I'm starting off, I'm a new entrepreneur, but as time goes by and you guys support this and we get some purchases in order, then I can keep expanding and investing and bringing even more inventory to you guys. So look out for those tracker hats. They're gonna be so cute with the gold glam fit and I hope you guys like it. Check out our Instagram page at Glam Fit Collection. Check out my Instagram page at Christy Allure for future coupons, maybe. Check it out. Those will be available soon for your first time purchase. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos. See you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.